Honest. Jay Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet y'all at last. And welcome back to HGM. So let me go on ahead and simply recap a few things out there. I've talked about such subjects out there, such as multi-tools, marshmallows, jobs, and playback. But this time, I'm going to talk about another something out there that I really like to talk about. Gummy. The good old chewy candy that comes in a variety of different fruity flavors and has been very popular since the 20s. All thanks to confectioner Hans Reichel. And I could certainly tell you that throughout the, well, it hasn't even been a hundred years since it first took place, but of course with the gummy bears first taking place in the 20s, to the 80s where the gummy worms started to come by, and then eventually the endorsement started to come into play. When such candy confectioners all across the globe started to really develop some new stuff to it, they managed to make giant gummy confections. And for the past 15 years, we've really been able to really pull stuff off. And I can tell you for a fact that within the last three years, it's certainly been quite a ride. Because these days, even these hardcore confectioners out there, such as the Gummy Bear Guy, have really been working hard to create all sorts of ginormous gummy treats out there for anyone to share or to keep for yourself. In all honesty, though, I am a die-hard fan of the Gummy Bear Guy and all the creations that have come down from it. The first ever type of Gummy Bear Guy related thing that I've ever tried was a world's largest gummy bear on my 16th birthday in June 2015. And the flavor I got from it was blue raspberry. That was the first time I have ever tried a Gummy Bear Guy related confection. It was a giant gummy bear that was this tall and it was kind of heavy actually, a five pounder if not more. But of course, it didn't really stop there, because eventually within the last two years, I mean, I've really been getting down to it, trying all sorts of Gummy Bear Guy related creations. The first type I've tried out there were the Gummy Rainbow Snakes, where they went out to about this long, and they were rainbow, pretty much. A variety of fruit flavors were pretty much mixed in, so that way the snakes were always delicious, no matter what way I'd simply bite down on them. And then eventually, I tried other things along the way, such as the gummy peace sign, which also had a large amount of flavors built into it. Then I also tried gummy mustaches, a gummy bear on a stick, even though that was another thing that I had in summer 2015. And then I also tried out the gummy snake, the gummy frogs, the world's largest gummy worm, and a few other things along the way. Though, of course... I do, in fact, plan on, well, having some more. Though I am, in fact, going to try and cut back on that just for, well, maintaining health control and weight control. And so I won't have to worry about developing something really awful along the way. Like type 1 or 2 diabetes or something even worse. But we can at least guarantee the fact that I still am going to enjoy world's largest gummy confections of all sorts by the Gummy Bear Guy or whatnot. Because their work is just astounding. So much so that Bat19 really made some promotional videos all over. Regardless of whatever product they were advertising about the Gummy Bear Guy, it has been clear by now that the Gummy Bear Guy's work is going to continue to really reign supreme in the candy world. And I can tell you, I'm in the mood for some other gummy stuff. I mean... <sighs> Try not to get overexcited about it, but it's still an amazing feat in the history of candy. And I guess it's pretty much all I have to talk about it at this point. So, I'm Jay Nowak, this has been Honest Jay Nowak, and if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.